said going to floating in floating in God's arms just floating and basking in his presence in this song called the dancer and what what, what really adds to to the mood is sister Jonna's painting tonight and sister Jonna thank you for allowing us to use your painting it's called lunar mood lunar yeah. mood huh all right it's the final one yep the lunar lunar mood thank you Jonna for allowing us to look at this beautiful painting as we listen to the jazz, because it kind of it kind of fits in with the mood of the evening. Watching this beautiful, just this the the red reddish moon on the it was a night of a a night of a uh, eclipse, and Jonna caught it, and then she captured it in, in the painting here. She uh, she was at a party with some friends, a uh, memorial party, a gathering I should say, not a party, a gathering, and it was the same night as a lunar eclipse, and so the the reason it has this this reddish glow was the the the, the lunar eclipse was in a full eclipse. And that's the way the moon looked, kind of like a reddish, reddish moon. So she named it Lunar Mood, M-O-O-D, like David. Lo lunar Mood, like you're in a, a, a mellow mood right now. So that's the name of this one. Thank you, John, for allowing us to just sit back and enjoy this painting as we just bask in God's presence. Another one of God's handiworks. The solar system is just God, God in perfection, watching how God just created the universe. All the perfection that lies within. And that's what we just keep on... We gotta keep on seeking to, to live by his word. Keep living by his word, because that's that's the key. That's the key to survival in this world. Is to live by his word every day. To apply his word, read his word, 
Study the word. Living by the word means you do it every day, not just every Sunday, every day. We must be doers of the word and not hearers only, like where he says, the name is song, living by the word.
living by the word. And that's what it's all about. To hold your peace. Hold your peace. Because we know one thing for sure. And the one thing we know for sure is God is real. The name of the songs, Divine Sunset, God is so real. He's been real to each one of us in his place to bring us to this day together around the world. God is real.
is so real to each one of us here. That's what motivates us to come together six days a week because we know how God, how real he's been to each one of us in this place. And that's what drives us. We seek his presence every day because once he's moved in your life, we seek his face every day to feel his presence every day. To rest in him every day. To receive a fresh anointing every day. To bask in his presence every day. Once you encounter the true peace, the peace beyond understanding in the presence of the Lord, you got to go back for more because you cannot find that peace in the world. Let me say it again. You cannot find the peace beyond understanding in the world. You only find it in the presence of the Lord. Welcome, Gary. Hey, Gary. And that's what it's all about. When we rest in his presence, whenever we rest in his presence, we feel that peace, that peace come over us. To rest in his presence, say, thank you, Jesus, for taking this cup from me. Thank you, Jesus, for, for victory. Thank you, Jesus, for moving in my life every day, Lord, for your protection, your direction, your guidance in every way, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And right now, just tell him thank you. Just tell him thank you for moving in your life. Just thank him right now in advance for answering prayers Thank him in advance for healing and provision and breakthrough and deliverance for whatever it is you need. Thank him right now. Thank him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. We rest in you right now, Lord. We rest in you right now. We feel your presence in this place. We feel your peace. We feel the anointing coming over us right now. And let's receive it right now. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. I receive a fresh anointing right now in the name of Jesus. I receive a fresh anointing right now in the name of Jesus. His anointing destroys every yoke his anointing is the burden removing yoke destroying power of god the anointing for breakthrough anointing for healing anointing for deliverance anointing for provision for anointing for whatever it is you need receive it just thank you jesus for a fresh anointing Thank you, Jesus, for a fresh anointing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I receive it, Lord. I receive it right now. And Father God, let the blood of Jesus, Lord, let the blood of Jesus cover everyone right now live or archive, who can hear my voice, wherever they are in the world, day or night, Lord. Let the blood of Jesus cover us head to foot. Let the blood of Jesus flow through our blood vessels, healing every diseased and diseased cell in our body. Thank you, Jesus. Flow through us, Lord. Flow through us right now. I receive it. Receive the healing right now. The Holy Spirit is speaking right now. The Holy Spirit is speaking right now. Thank you, Jesus. Peace be still. Peace be still. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
give it to the Lord right now as we do every Saturday. The second half of Saturday is making sure you give everything to the Lord like we do during the week. We've got to learn to do this every day. We've got to learn to do this every day. Give everything to the Lord. Every worry, every stress, every fear, every infirmity, every anxiety, every doubt, every challenge, every attack. Give it to Him right now. Lay it on the altar right now. Lay it on the altar. And once you lay it on the altar, what do you do? Let go. Lay it on the altar and let go. Lay everything, your whole life. We cast all our care on you, Lord. For you care for us, Lord. And right now, Lord, we give it all to you, Lord. We give you our entire life, Lord. Every one, every situation, everything, Lord. And now we trust you, Lord. We trust you with all our heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all our ways, we acknowledge you, Lord, and you will direct our path. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be exceedingly glad in it. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. These things will be added to you. Call upon me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. I will trust in you, Lord, with all my heart and lean not to my own understanding. In all my ways I acknowledge you, Lord, and know that you will direct my path. For I look not at the things that are seen, but at the things that are not seen. For the things that are seen are temporal, while the things that are not seen are eternal. By your stripes I am healed, for I walk by faith, not by sight. Without faith it is impossible to please you, Lord, and, and those that come to you must believe that you are, and that you are a rewarder to those who diligently seek you. I cast all my care upon you, Lord, for you care for me. desires of my heart. Wait on you and keep your ways, and you will exalt me to inherit the land. If I abide in you, and your words abide in me, 
that I shall ask what I desire and it shall be done for me. Whatever things I desire, when I pray, I must believe that I receive them and I shall have them. Now this is the confidence that I have in you, O Lord, that if I ask anything according to your will, you hear me. And if I know that you hear me, whatever I ask, I know that I have the petitions I have asked of you. I rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is your will for me. Yes, Lord. the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me down the path of righteousness for his namesake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. A rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. song was ascension and right now father god as we come together around the world lord just basking in your presence lord we love just resting in your presence lord rejuvenating re-energizing thank you jesus for your grace thank you for your mercy thank you for never leaving us nor forsaken us like you said in your word, and you'll be with us even to the end of the age. Thank you, Jesus. We can't thank you enough, Lord. We can't thank you enough for all the ways you move in our life, Lord. All the ways you move. All the ways you move. We seek to get to know you more and more, Lord, like the song says. More of your presence, more peace, more anointing, more of you, Lord, every day. To be able to survive in this world, we want to get to know you more and more in every way. More and more.
Just you and me and nobody else. Only you, Lord, can give me all the answers I seek. Only you, Lord, can give me the healing I need. Only you, Lord, have all the answers that I seek. Just you and me, Lord. Just you and me. Father God, as we get ready to close tonight, Lord, I pray this intercessory prayer right now over all the fellowship members right now, live or archive, on the screen or off the screen, Lord. I pray in agreement with every unspoken prayer request right now that's on the heart of every fellowship member right now, wherever they are in the world, day or night, Lord. I thank you right now for all the ways you're moving over the fellowship and touching their lives and their loved ones and all the ones who are lifting up right now in prayer, Lord. And I decree and declare that all their unspoken prayer requests shall come to pass. The fervent prayers of the righteous avails much. Hear our prayer, O Lord. And Father God, as we continue to fast and pray, our consecration fast, day 26, Lord. We continue to fast and pray for supernatural healing, especially during the pandemic, Lord. We're praying for peace, for change, 
for justice. Praying, Lord, for you to continue to wave your mighty hand over the spirit's retribution, rebellion, racism, division in our nation. And Lord, to continue to uproot the grip of racism, not only in our nation, but in the world. As we continue to humble ourselves, pray, seek your face, turn from our wicked ways. So you will indeed hear from heaven, forgive our sins, and heal our land. All these things we ask. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Before we close, I always know someone's been watching or listening tonight who doesn't understand our fellowship, our love, our praise, our worship. Right now, I'm going to the prayer of salvation and the closing prayers. As always, please no typing during the closing prayers out of respect to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Right now, I'm talking to the person listening. You've been listening the whole time. You've been here the whole night. But you've also been crying the whole time because your life is falling apart right now. Worry, fear, darkness is all over you. Family is turned away from you. Friends stabbed you in the back. And you may even feel like taking your life right now. Yet somehow you find yourself on this channel and you have no idea how you got here. And that's because God sees your pain you're going through right now emotionally, physically, or spiritually. That's why you're here. You're not here by accident. You may be here as a backslider in guilt. For whatever reason, you chose to leave God and go back into a life of sin. And now your life is falling apart because you went back into the devil's world. And the devil's telling you, once you leave God, you could never go back. And that right there is a lie for the pit of hell. No one is perfect. All have fallen short. So if you said a prayer of salvation and you've fallen back into sin, there's nothing the devil could do to stop you. Nothing he can do to take your salvation away. Just rededicate your life. Recommit. Say the prayer of salvation over again and recommit your life to Christ. And there's nothing the devil can do to stop it. So whether you're walking in depression and darkness and fear and worry, or you're walking as a backslider, I want you to pray with me. Repeat after me. Father God, forgive me for the wrong I've done and the wrong I've been. I believe Jesus is the Son of God. I believe he died on the cross for me and my sins and was raised from the dead. I want Jesus to be Lord and Savior of my life. I commit right now. I will not do a single thing in life or make a single decision in life without lifting up to you first. Create in me, Lord, a clean heart and remove from me anything and everything that is not like you. In Jesus' name. And if you said that prayer sincerely, your spirit is not right to receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a part of God that lives inside of us, that teaches us, that guides us, and also convicts us when you're not walking God's will. The Holy Spirit will show you people, activities, and things you're doing in your life right now, which is bringing darkness into your life. And then he'll tell you exactly what you need to do to reverse it. First of all, spend time, more time with God every day. Not just every Sunday, Every day, spend time with God. Feed your spirit, starve your flesh. Feed your faith, starve your doubt every day. And the more time you spend with God every day, the more peace of mind you'll feel in your life. Which is God letting you know it's going to be all right. God's got this. God's got you. Right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we as a fellowship rebuke and bind the spirit's retribution, revenge, Retaliation, backlash, and every other demonic spirit, named or unnamed, seen or unseen, who may try to attack anyone in this fellowship because of participation in this fellowship. We cast all you demonic spirits out of our mind, out of our spirit, out of our home, out of our kids, out of our marriages, back to the pit of hell for which you all came in Jesus' name.
And Father God, loose, Lord. Loose into the fellowship, unspeakable joy. Loose peace beyond understanding. Loose restoration, Lord. Restore every area of our life. Loose reconciliation, Lord. Bring reconciliation to marriages and families right now who are struggling to survive because of the devil's attack, Lord. And Lord, please keep your hands of protection over all the families and marriages who are not falling apart, but who the devil is still attacking every day, Lord. Loose supernatural healing, physical healing, spiritual healing, emotional healing. By your stripes, we're healed. And we confess it, Lord. We confess it every day. I believe I received my healing in the name of Jesus. I believe I received my healing in the name of Jesus every day. Confess it. See it. Live it. Breathe it. Pray as if your life depends on it. P-U-S-H. Pray until something happens. Loose supernatural overflow. Financial breakthrough. Supernatural debt cancellation. Lord, let your blessings, Lord, let your blessings of abundance rain down, Lord. Rain down on a fellowship to every financial need right now, whatever it is, Lord. Especially during the pandemic, Lord. For you shall supply all our need according to your riches in glory. For Christ Jesus, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not want for anything for the Lord is my shepherd. For we're the head, not the tail. We're above and not beneath. We're the lender and not the borrower. We're blessed going in and blessed going out. We're blessed that we may be a blessing to others. We are out of debt. All of our needs are met. We have plenty more to put in store. We are children of God. And nothing shall by any means hurt us or block our blessings in any way. And finally, Lord, we thank you for our miracle, Lord. Each fellowship member has a miracle they're praying for right now. And now we know, Lord, as a fellowship, we know every day to take time. See it. See your miracle. See it. And once you see it, expect it. Expect your miracle. We don't, we don't know the when. We'll never know the exact when. But because we don't know when, that means any day you wake up could be the day and the manifestation of the miracle you're praying for right now. May the Lord bless you and keep your family. May the Lord make his face shine upon you, be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you, give you peace. That you may be a blessing to everyone you touch and speak to. A blessing to everyone you pray for. A blessing to everyone you pass by. Well, open your mouth because the light and love of the Lord is all over you. 24-7, 365, including leap year. So Father God, all these things we ask, Lord, all these things we ask. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And fellowship say, Amen, Amen.